Chinese track cyclist Yuan Liying found herself at the center of a dramatic and harrowing incident during the women's Kirin event at the Paris 2024 Summer Olympics on Thursday, August 8. The Kirin, a high-speed and tightly contested race, often tests the nerves and precision of its competitors, and on this occasion, it led to a significant crash that highlighted the inherent dangers of track cycling. The Kirin event begins with riders following a motorized bike, known as a derny, for the first three laps, which gradually increases their speed. Once the derny exits the track, the cyclists are left to battle it out in a furious sprint over the remaining three laps. These final laps are characterized by intense jockeying for position, with riders often elbow to elbow, pushing the limits of their endurance and skill. In the quarterfinals, Yuan was locked in a fierce battle for the last available spot in the semifinals. German rider Lee Friedrich, reigning world champion L.S. Andrews from New Zealand, and Belgian competitor Nicky de Grindel had already secured their places, leaving Yuan to contend with Dutch rider Steffi van der Piet for the final qualifying position. As they approached the finish line, Yuan attempted to squeeze through a narrow gap on the inside, a risky move that proved to be costly. The gap was simply too tight, and Yuan collided with van der Piet, sending both cyclists crashing to the track in a violent collision. The impact was severe enough to cause pieces of helmets and bicycles to scatter across the velodrome, while the riders themselves skidded across the wooden surface. The crash also entangled de Grindel, who was brought down as well but managed to stand and walk off the track, though shaken by the incident. Van der Piet emerged from the crash with a shredded skin suit and painful track burns, the marks of her high-speed encounter with the unforgiving velodrome surface. She, too, was able to leave the track on her own, albeit battered and bruised, with the semi-finals still ahead. Yuan, however, was the most severely affected. She remained on the ground for a longer period, visibly grimacing in pain. When she finally stood, it was clear she could not leave the track unassisted. Two of her coaches had to help her off, each supporting her by the elbows as she limped to the infield. The aftermath of the crash underscored the brutal nature of the sport. The velodrome's wooden surface was gouged by the force of the crash, necessitating immediate repairs before the event could proceed. Workers quickly moved in to patch and sand the damaged areas, a reminder of how close these athletes operate to the edge of disaster at speeds exceeding 70 km per hour. 43 miles per hour. Crashes in track cycling, particularly in events like the Kirin, are not uncommon, given the close quarters racing and the high stakes at play. However, the severity of this incident served as a stark reminder of the risks these athletes take as they push themselves and their equipment to the limit in pursuit of Olympic glory. For Yuan Liying, Van Der Piet, and de Grindel, the focus will now shift to recovery, with hopes of returning to competition as soon as possible.